Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into the bad news that we just heard about Gilead's drug Remdesivir, and also where I think the market's going to head tomorrow. Also, if you'd like three free stocks when you sign up for Weeble and Robin, check the links in the description below. So guys, getting into it, we see Gilead Sciences just released a statement that the World Health Organization released their results too early, and since the World Health Organization has retracted their uh, review of the drug Remdesivir, and said basically that the study is inconclusive from the China results. So basically, guys, the, the trial went through, and in China, the drugs seemed to be positive in the beginning, and that's why we kind of saw Gilead Sciences kind of stuck skyrocket, and we kind of see that the tide has changed, and we're currently seeing the effects on this in the market. So everyone was positive, right, the past few days because of the drug news from last week, and this kind of skyrocketed the market this uh, week. So let's get into the stock market in general. Now... Right here, guys, we see that the stock market kind of pumped the last uh, week from here, let's say, kind of been pumping since Friday. And right now, you guys know I've been talking about this bearish divergence in the stock where the stochastic is higher, but the price is lower. And we kind of see that the buying pressure has gone up to here. But today, we were going to make a bullish candle. But look what happened, guys. We kind of pulled back. And this candle over here right now, guys, is pretty bearish, in my opinion because of the, the way it looks, right? It's kind of like a shooting star downwards. And this in technical analysis is technically a bearish candle. So this could be the area where we finally see this bearish divergence play out. Notice we're getting rejected by this 50 exponential moving average now, and we're closing under it. Now, this line over here of support was long-term support that I called, but this doesn't have to be support right now because of this bearish news and the way the markets are forming due to the drug remdesivir not, being, uh, not having positive news. So guys, I think tomorrow we're going to see the uh, S&P 500 dip, and I think the stock market's going to fall further due to the fact that this drug wasn't positive. And the fact that all of these reports are getting released too early when Gilead still has a few more phase three trials based off of this drug to kind of execute and see where they fully stand. So this could be uh, positive news for Moderna, which was the other uh, coronavirus vaccine stock that I talked about in my other videos with uh, the vaccine stocks. But right now, guys, we also see, let's check out Gilead killed over here Gilead Sciences so guys Gilead over here is looking pretty bearish right now we kind of had pop over here and around one o'clock two o'clock when the news kind of came out we kind of see this bearish dip so we kind of close this gap over here and guys this is not looking good for Gilead if the if the results are actually not positive for the remdesivir drug so be careful when investing in these biotech stocks I typically don't like biotech stocks because they're extremely volatile but they could reap extreme benefits so Right now, we want to see Gilead's uh, drug results be positive or else the market's going to head down further. Now, going back to the S&P 500, guys, I do think that we're going to head lower tomorrow based off the fact that this is bearish news for the whole market. We had hope last week. Remember that, guys? It was all hope that kind of drove this market from this part to here. And we're kind of seeing a pullback the last few days. So be careful when putting your money in the stock market. Remember, this is not financial advice. Please like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what stocks you'd like me to look at next. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great one.